Hello, my dolphin straddling unconventional conventionalists, and welcome to Aquatica. So, as I stated in the SeaWorld video, I've let my uh, Universal Annual Pass expire, and I've swapped it out for a SeaWorld and Aquatica Annual Pass. I have been to Aquatica before, but it's been over a decade. I'm sure a lot has changed, and I'm really excited to check it out. So uh, let's go, guys. Let's see how this stacks up. So what's really cool is that I coincidentally came here on a day where there is a soft opening for a new slide. And this is it here, the Reef Plunge. So it's going to be more this afternoon. I think it starts at like 1, maybe 3. I have to check up on that. But what's really cool is that it goes through a dolphin habitat, and it is the... Um, Cumberson's dolphin, which are actually like really pretty um, black and white dolphins with shorter noses. But so far I'm liking the colors, I'm liking the vibe. definitely a different vibe like I wouldn't say it's a tropical vibe how would I how would I say this it's definitely colorful it's more like a summer party vibe I'm into it all right so here's a map of this place so this place is not a complete circle it actually kind of goes everywhere you could probably get lost here and it looks like they have the cabanas available as well but i mean all water parks do it looks like there's a big cluster of them in the middle of the lazy river that's pretty cool well here's kind of a bummer the toilets are closed today Okay, so their actual names are the Tassie Twist and the Loggerhead Lane, but they're toilets. They're giant toilets. You literally get flushed in a giant toilet. I was looking forward to those. Oh well. Here's some more cabanas. These are on the beach in front of the wave pool. I like the design of these. I like how there's sand inside the cabana. That's something I haven't seen before. And they also have the premium seating. Huh? Very quickly. However, of course, they have adaptations to make sure that they stay nice and warm. 
Along with those who want to those adaptations and other specialized types of fat, which you can find all over their bodies, except for their fins. And of course, you see them swimming very quickly around their habitat. And that's to make sure that they stay nice and warm. So by moving those muscles, they're able to generate heat and retain it inside their bodies at that water. If you haven't gone to one of our water menu sections yet, I highly encourage you to do so. You'll find that there's many other things inside of our Commerce and Dolphins habitat other than our three Commerce and Dolphins. We do have 10 sharks, a couple hundred sardines, and many other species of fish, and all of these are wonderful and different for each other. So, the dolphins can interact with all of those different animals every single day, and since every single animal is a living being, every interaction that they have will be novel and different on the day. So I just took my cover off, rocking my uh, pink one today with the chain. Um, on the website, it said, no thong swimsuits, please. But I wasn't sure if that was a rule or more like a request, because it wasn't really like listed as a rule. It was like in parentheses. It's wordy kind of weird. But after um, taking a few laps around the park, I've seen plenty of bare cheeks, so... Um, I think I'll be fine. So let's swap out cameras and go on some slides finally. All right, switched out to the waterproof camera. Yeah, real quality drop here. One of these days I'm gonna get me a GoPro so I can record water parks in 4K, but right now you guys are gonna have to deal. All right, so Uwe's Breakaway Falls is actually like right next to where I was set up. So um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this first. Here we go. Now we got a nice aerial view. This is Aquatica. Not gonna lie, it looks really cool from up here. So this is kind of cool. If somebody is too intimidated with the drop slides, they're given the option to go down a regular slide instead of all the way down the stairs. That's very considerate. I like that. Alright, so that was actually pretty fun. It was a drop slide, you saw. Straight down, really rough ride. Good shit. I think it's about time I should go get my um, wristband for the Reef Plunge preview. Alright, so I got my wristband for the annual pass preview of Reef Plunge. It was kind of sent around the world to find it, but found it on my own. So, about an hour and a half, we're gonna check that out. Okay, this one looks wild. I think it's... Actually, I think it's this one. It's Ray Rush. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a UFO or some shit. It's crazy. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. Okay, so this one looks trippy as hell. It's like a ball there. What is that? And then this big ass part here. What? What is that? What is that? I was right. That was madness. So it's a it's a multi person slide. Um. This um, father and daughter was very nice to let me ride with them. 
and so it launches and then they're like there's that orb that ball it's like you go through the ball like a drain and then the next part is you know the big wall you go up that wall and you like swish back and forth and then you go through like this trippy ass psychedelic tunnel with all these like lights and shit and then it comes out it is like really really awesome i think that's my favorite slide so far that that was cool hey they got race slides let's do it so i didn't get to do trauma racer because the park is closed or at least i mean not the park but Pretty much all the slides are closed because there's thunder nearby. This is a problem for Reef Plunge, isn't it? Because it's almost 3 o'clock and they shut down all the slides. So, I'll stick around and see what happens. Just my luck, right? Chill. Fucking Florida. So I switched back to the phone. Since I have extra time and I am hungry, Let's uh, do a little food review. All right, improv food review. Here we are. I got the uh, fish sandwich and my fish looks like a knife. You guys see that, right? It's a knife. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so um, get rid of this. I'm, I don't like tomatoes. The rest of it looks really good though. Put the cheese on there, trying to assemble it. This patty is way too big for this bun. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Which side check? I guess I'll go on this side. It's crispy, I like it. Just, I like fried fish that's crunchy and not like eating a sponge. <laughs> Cause I noticed like a lot of the, um, you know, the ones you make in the oven, they come out tasting like a sponge or like the consistency is like a sponge. This is crunchy. So I can tell that this was um, deep fried and not made in an oven. And that's good considering how much I paid for it. It was uh, $15.99, but my annual pass took off 30%. So, hey guys, good news. It looks like the skies are clearing up now and I don't hear thunder anymore. And I think the park should be reopening pretty soon, which is perfect because it's just about three o'clock. So this might work out after all. About 45 minutes later and the storm came back. <laughs> yeah, the park never reopened. It's almost four o'clock now, and um, the park's supposed to close at five, but they said this wristband is good till six. So I think they're keeping it open an hour longer just for annual pass holders. We'll see how it goes, guys. So far, it's not looking good, though. All right. Four, a little past four, park literally just reopened. I got my entire backpack still on, but I'm just, I'm just gonna stuff it here and go, because I'm right here at Reef Plunge. Let's go, guys. That fit, those, those two are the first ones, I'm the second, let's go. Okay, that was awesome. That was definitely worth waiting for. I'm glad I stuck around. Um, I was the third person, okay, hang on, third guest ever to ride Reef Plunge, and I'm so excited about that. So went into the tunnel, it's a tunnel right away, and at first they got like um, these light windows of like different shapes, different sea life, like sharks, stingrays, it's really cool. And then it goes into like this trippy tunnel, this like psychedelic tunnel with um, all these crazy lights tripping you out, and then it opens up into the dolphin habitat, and you go through a clear tunnel. I was looking around, the, the dolphins were, weren't by the tunnel, unfortunately, but it's really, really cool. That was great, I loved it. So, I got about an hour and 40 minutes left till I have to leave the park. 
so I'm gonna switch over to the waterproof camera again and let's see how much we can do in that amount of time. There's like no one here, so it's not like I'm gonna have to wait for anything. I'm gonna jump right on each one right away. So let's go, guys. This is Riptide Race. It was close by where I was. I'm doing it. Let's go. What do you say we finished what we started? Also, I've been incorrectly pronouncing this slide. It's the Tomato Racer. I was calling it the Trauma Racer. Honestly, I think Trauma Racer sounds cooler. They should call it that. The rapid fire continues. Next up is Wanaway. Wanaway. That's what we're going with. We're going on it too. And that covers all of the slides. Well, at least the ones that are open today. <laughs> There's at least four that I didn't get to do because they were all closed. But whatever. You know, I have, a, I have an annual pass. I can come back whenever I want. It's cool. It's cool. Walk About Waters actually is not filled with screaming children right now, so best time to go in it. here. I mean, there is a Lazy River and a Rapids River, but they're both closed. They were open earlier, but they're not open for the extended hour for the annual pass holders. So, final thoughts on Aquatica. I like it. It's a really nice water park. I mean, Volcano Bay will always have a special place in my heart, but this place is pretty great, and I'll keep coming back for sure. So, yeah, if you haven't already, please hit the subscription bell with your dick. So you know when I upload more content. And until the next video... <laughs>